The design of US state flags interests me because I'm a real, I love flags. I would like to know, just, just looking over them, what are your initial thoughts about this collection of, of flags? What are your first impressions? My first impressions are that there are a lot of red and blue. My impression is that there are, some of them are all very similar to each other, mm -hmm. and then some of them are very different. I'm, I would say I'm, I'm just a bit overwhelmed by it to give you any one impression. And okay. It's just a whole bunch of colorful flags. This is just a train wreck of awful, awful design. It's, it's hideous. I mean, and they're not cohesive, they're, but that's the beauty of it, isn't it? They're kind of, each has got its own story. And each been... is disappointing in its own special way. Almost all of them, they are blue and they have some boring and or ugly seal in the center of the oh. flag. Hey, that's what I noticed. So I was sort of on the right track. Yes. We've got yeah. Idaho, Kansas, Kentucky. Uh, sort of Louisiana, not exactly. Maine, Michigan, Minnesota, Montana, Nebraska. Uh, uh, Nevada manages to make it even worse. New Hampshire, New York, my home state. So disappointing, New York. Uh, that's a lovely... Oh, that's a, that's no, a it is hideous. Flag. All right, hold on. We also have North Dakota, Oregon. Uh, at least Oregon mixes it up a little bit. Pennsylvania, oh, Utah as well. Also disappointing showing there, Utah. Uh, Vermont, Virginia, and Wisconsin. There's a whole bunch of flags that are just blue with a seal in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, just horrifically unoriginal or boring flags. I look at something like, I'll open up the, it up here. So the New York state flag is, like so many others, this particularly not great color blue either. The sun has a little face on it, like a like a kindergartner drew the face. I don't understand why that's there. I think it's it's just hideous. They you should be able to say, oh, that's New York or that's New Jersey. But no, there's no way I, I could win a guessing game of of which flag is is whose for almost all of them. They're just But if you got fifty state flags all trying to be iconic and different from the one next to them, wouldn't that just get crazy and you'd start having like, you know, a fluorescent pink triangular one with Okay. You know, a green alien on it just because you want to be different from the guy next to you. Shouldn't uh, there be a little bit of understatement? Like, I think have a bit of class. You don't have to scream the loudest and say, look at me. You know, I'm I'm different from all the others. Why not just be, hey, I'm just a cool, calm guy with a classy okay. flag. All right. All right. Here, here's the thing. I, I think that you can design a cool, calm, classy flag. But I think none of these flags meet this requirement either. I think they're all just kind of hideous. None of and them? If you had to pick the best flag on here, what would you okay. pick? And I, like, from my perspective, there is only one decision to make here. One of these flags is great, and it obviously stands out from the best, and now I'm hoping that you pick it. I like Alaska. I like a few of them. I mean, for, for iconicness, Texas does well, but uh, I definitely don't like Maryland. Do you know what? I like lots of them. Alaska's my favorite because it's got a constellation on it. It's got the, the Big Dipper on it there. California's pretty cool. I mean, I like the ones I guess I'm most familiar with. If you, have, if you line up all these flags and say, which of these is the best flag? Mm. I think no contest, hands down, number one winner goes to the great state of New Mexico. New Mexico no. has the best flag by far. And for the listener, uh, it is a, a yellow background and it's this red symbol which is just sort of i don't know how to describe it it's sort of the, it's like a cross like a like a little plus sign in the center but it's it's let me describe it for you then okay you do it it looks job. like a corporate flag of a company that produces chemicals no so wrong it looks so in fact, wrong. in fact if i was going to name one that i didn't like it, that would be on the list oh we, it we're... looks like it looks like it's got a corporate logo. it doesn't look like it's from the past or from history it looks like it belongs to some company called synergy 3000 no no new mexico number one in my book you mentioned Maryland as being terrible. We're going to disagree. So I love the Maryland flag. <laughs> oh, but no, I, that no, is no. a train All right, all right. But I love it for a particular reason. So uh, the Maryland flag is objectively hideous. <laughs> I think you would agree, right? Maryland, I love your flag. And here's the reason why. I think there is nobody you could show the Maryland flag to who their first reaction wouldn't be, Ugh, right? Yeah, like that, that is terrible. 
But but here's why I love the American the, the Maryland flag. To me, it's one of these things in life. Sometimes something is so hideous, it like wraps around the spectrum of of like we imagine this line as like good and bad. It's like an old-fashioned video games where if you go too far to one side, you end up popping back up on the other side. And to me, that's what the flag of Maryland has accomplished. I is, don't think they have quite wrapped around far no, enough. No, it's, it's, it's so awful that I totally love it. Never change, Maryland. Have this thing seen, is just the greatest. Have you ever seen the Australian state flags? So, so basically, this is the same thing over and over again with a slight tweak each time. Does this offend you or do you think right. this is good? I give two thumbs up to Australia because okay. if you're going to do something like this, be consistent about it. And I, I would have no problem with the American states if they all did something similar where it's like, okay, everybody, okay, everybody, we're going to get on board and we're yeah. going to have a basic template and everybody does a variation on that template. And... That, that I would be 100% okay with. But I think the, the American states are just the worst because even the ones that look similar, they've all chosen a different color blue. And it's all <laughs> – it's like, guys, use the same blue. Don't use slightly different blues. Oh, and the, the seals are all different sizes. And it's just – looking at these flags, if you're designing a flag for whatever and you give it to me for feedback – like I'm grading it, like I'm the teacher here. If you have to write the name of your thing on your flag, instant fail. <laughs> instant fail. Yeah. It's just, I'm sorry, Montana. That seal might be really nice, but if you have to write Montana right up across the top, fail. Right. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, you're so close to a kind of awesome flag. I mean, you need to change that blue background, obviously, but your central logo is great. But then you write Oklahoma across the bottom, fail. State of Oregon, fail it's just ah kansas fail illinois they, fail they look a bit like high school things don't they when they've got the name written on it like that they look the yeah arkansas fail um one of the ones which is it just hurts me deeply california california man you're so close to awesome with this flag but <laughs> then you have to write california republic across the bottom and I know, I know you want to do this because you were, for about a week, you were a republic, sort of, depending on how you want to count that. And so you want to have that there. I understand. But you know what you also have? You've got a huge bear on your flag, right? Go with the bear. Right? Mm -hmm. like make the bear bigger. Make the bear scarier. But then you're at California Republic across the bottom. It's just, oh, so close. I like it. It's so kind of close, American. California. America, you know, they does what it says on the tin with America. Like they're not, there's not, there's, there's no subtlety or guile. No, there's no, subtlety I'm surprised you haven't got USA written on your flag. Well, that's exactly it. Like I imagine <laughs> like if some of these state designers had made the American flag, it would just, it would just say USA, right? The yeah. big stars and stripes everywhere. And it'd be, it would be written like the memes are with impact font, you know, maybe an exclamation mark. And like then, like many of these states do, they also have to write the date. So it's a USA seventeen seventy six forever, right? Like exclamation mark. <laughs> that's what it, that's what it would be. And it's just wow. the ones that really get me are the ones that are so close. Like the California one, it bothers me more because it's almost great. And I, I feel the same way with uh, Wyoming. Take a look at Wyoming's flag. Wyoming has a American buffalo in the middle yeah. it has some nice bold colors it's got the red and the blue and the white or the red border with a white border and then a mainly blue okay nice mixing it up it looks a little bit good it's like a picture frame and you have the the american buffalo right in the center outlined very cool oh and then you have to ruin it by like cramming in this seal which says the great state of wyoming also utah utah it's blue it has a seal on it. Okay, your flag should be immediate, immediately identifiable is, is my rule for this. And Utah, because of its its kind of its history, it, it has the, the beehive and this notion of industry as the kind of central themes of the state. Okay, okay, that's great. Go with the bees, right? Make your flag about bees or industry, right? Like it's very easy yeah. to imagine like industri like an industrious image. But no, like they shrink the bees down so it's so small and it's just barely in the logo. And at a glance, you can't possibly tell it. And then like it's just 1896 written across the bottom. Like, oh, just go with the bees, Utah. Yeah. It's great. 
it just it seems it seems and so then obvious. They've just to thrown me. this giant eagle and American. Flag yeah, the giant it, like to hide the thing that makes them unique. Double down on your uniqueness. <laughs> no, I feel like a, what I should actually do is genuinely sit down and grade all the flags. I feel, you I feel should like, rank them in a list. That would be awesome. I couldn't. I don't know if I could rank them, except obviously for New Mexico, the winner. But I, sh- I should. I should at least try to group them. Who gets? Who gets A's? Who gets B's? Who gets C's? I feel like Alaska. It's a Solid B, maybe B plus. All right. And everybody with words, F. F immediately. <laughs> That's... So you're giving California an F? D. I'll give California a D, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I, have okay. to think of, I have to think about that. I don't know. I'm making no promises here. but <laughs> I love that you're so passionate about it. I love flags. <laughs> 